This bulletin proudly brought to you in association with Alex Campbell's menswear. Tonight on the South Today, many hardy athletes took on the Kepler Challenge at the weekend with most completing the race wet and happy. A number of towns held their Santa parades over the weekend with sizeable crowds flocking to each event. And a brand new festival in Alexandra has attracted those seeking entertainment and wellness. Tenakoto katoa, namahi o te ahiahine, kia ora. I'm Simon Anderson. Businesses affected by COVID-19 say the weekend's Kepler Challenge has been a financial boost for Tiano businesses. Held in mostly terrible weather, the sports event attracted a strong group of competitors from across New Zealand. Well, no one was going to get heat stroke at this year's Kepler Challenge, but hypothermia was more likely. Men's winner Daniel Jones enjoyed his race and says cooler temperatures and rain weren't a concern. Uh, as long as you're motoring along, um, you don't get too cold. Women's winner Nancy Zhang knew her closest driver was hot on her heels throughout the race, which spurred this year's Auckland Marathon winner on. Um, I know she was probably like a minute or two behind me the whole way, um, you know, because it's like two out and backs. I've got people telling me, oh, she's just a few places back. Zhang is looking forward to a small break over the festive season, but is looking ahead to the World Mountain Running competitions should they go ahead. In the meantime, she's pretty happy with this weekend's win. It really pushed me, you know, I, I felt like I dug in pretty deep today, so I'm stoked. The Luxmore Grunt is a slightly shorter race, which has competitors traversing a 27 kilometre course. I was hoping just to do as much damage as possible up the hill, and then I just took a time check for the next guy once I was coming back down from the hut, and I was at eight minutes, I was like, surely I can't squander eight minutes, even if they're absolute animals on the downhill. So, um, no, yeah, I was, I was pleased with that. Winner, Jonathan. Jackson is a top-ranked national 10k and cross-country runner who took out the Luxmore Grunt ahead of policeman Dwight Grieve and Sam Manson. At the Kepler Challenge, the South today. Nine hours after it began, a coal train protest at the Dunedin railway station ended at 4.30pm on Saturday. Climate change protesters claim they created a positive moment of change. They say the railway station from which the daily northbound coal train leaves and the presence of a large number of people at the nearby Otago Farmers Market created a perfect stage for the action. Dozens of protesters halted the coal train by locking themselves to the track shortly before the train's departure which was scheduled for 7.30am. The 28 coal wagons were destined for a Fonterra milk processing plant in South Canterbury. Police described the mood and dialogue between police and protesters as pretty friendly. It's that time of year. Christmas parades are popping up across the world and our southern towns and cities are no exception. On Saturday, those in Balclutha had the chance to see a range of floats and displays plus Santa Claus himself parade down their main street. Santa rolled into Balclutha as part of the Clutha County Christmas Parade and Market Day bringing some festive cheer to the district. Rain showers held off while spectators were treated to a line-up along the main street that included historical fire engines and tractors, show queens, hundreds of children dressed as packages, stilt walkers and cultural shows, motorcycles, Elvis and dogs, lifesavers and scouts. Santa Claus himself brought up the rear of the parade. Clutha District Council Mayor Brian Cadogan says it was a magnificent day for Belclutha. Yeah, and yeah, finally, look everyone, uh, the warmest of uh, Merry Christmases and a, a happy holiday. I think we all deserve a bit of a time away and a bit of a bonding with family. So all the very best for 2021 and thanks for the support over this year. The event also included a market day with a wide range of homemade food treats plus arts and crafts for sale featuring everything from licorice to scented candles. Labour MP Ingrid Leary says she's always keen to support local artisans as she completes her Christmas shopping. 
Sand parades are always wonderful. It's great to be here to see particularly actually the artisan products that are out. I'm keen to do my Christmas shopping in places like this because it's all about supporting local artists. Um, but especially this year, it's so poignant when we see what's happening overseas. The fact that we can get out and be a community together is amazing. And I just want to wish everybody a really very happy Merry Christmas. Be safe, enjoy this time with your loved ones and we'll see you all next year. In Belclutha, the South today. And that Christmas cheer made its way to Dunedin's Main Street too. Thousands of revellers, young and old, lined George Street to see floats both new and traditional parade through town. An albatross and penguins plus purple dragon took part in the event. The Mosgill Brass Band, Silver Peaks Country Music Club and Dunedin's Rock and Roll Revival Club provided festive music. The cool, windy conditions did not deter hundreds of children from enjoying the day while awaiting Santa's arrival. Organisers say this year's crowd was much larger than the 40,000 people who attended last year. The wholesome Creative Arts and Wellness Festival was devised by Alexandra woman Angela Connell who likens the event to Mini WOMAD. Connell says her desire is to create an uplifting event in these trying times. A festival in Alexandra over the weekend offered music, meditation, macrame and more. Festival organiser Angela Connell said the aim was to create a positive event. I'm a creative person that saw the benefit of creativity in a community to uplift wellness and I saw a gap in this area and um, I wanted to step into it and to do something that would really uplift and connect and inspire our community. Um, so it grew from there and particularly doing it this year was more in response to the traumatic year that we've all had. Um, and putting a bit more pressure on myself to do it this year, but I'm glad that I have. Indoor workshops and outdoor events were wide ranging. We have covered everything from circus performance and silk and aerial displays to gardening and composting. Um, we have uh, an artisan's market with macrame workshops and a local ceramics artist. Um, there is a sand pit for sand mandala creations, um, and we also have had Oh, the bouldering. So there's a stand-up rock climbing um, workshop here as well. So yeah, plus all the music in between. The festival had been in the planning for some time. It was a wee seed that had been germinating for a few years. Um, the idea may be like a mini WOMAD kind of vibe. So yeah, and still the long-term vision would be that it becomes something bigger, um, perhaps with camping on a property where it's all sustainable and kind of giving back to the land where it is also. In Alexandra for the South Today. Still to come on the South Today, Santa also stops in at Wamaru and a southern 70-year-old has completed a significant cycle challenge, Kakite Akonai. George Street, corner of Hanover and George. Come and see what I get in here. This is where I go shopping. So look what I can choose from in here. It's fantastic. Knitwear, flash shirt. Look at those flash shirts. Trousers, jeans, pullovers. Oh look, they've got some hoodies. I love hoodies. Every reason, every season, we're proud to dress the region. Alex Campbell menswear, it fits. But my friend Lindsay, he says, this store's only here until January the 10th, so I better dash. See you later. If you're at risk of developing melanoma skin cancer, you owe it to yourself to have a mole map. 
MOLMAP is coming to your area. Phone today to make an appointment. It could save your life. A poorly maintained heat pump can lose up to 35% of its output. The Mr. Heat Pump Cleaner team are experts. Their specially developed chemical wash is totally biodegradable. Call Mr. Heat Pump Cleaner and get the job done by the professionals. For over 100 years, Presbyterian support has been helping people in your region through all conditions, ages and stages of life. Our Enliven and Family Work services are always there when you need them. People in your community are facing unprecedented challenges and they need your help. By making a donation to your local Presbyterian support in South Canterbury, Otago or Southland, you'll be helping us to help people where you live. Together we can make a difference. We are people helping people. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم المهيمن العزيز الجبار المتكبر Hoki Mano, welcome back to more Christmas merriment. The skies may have been grey, but Oamru's main street was a sea of colour for its annual Christmas parade on Saturday. Organisers estimate about 12,000 people filled Thames Street for a glimpse of Santa Claus, the biggest turnout in recent years. Starting at 11am, the event included about 60 floats. Community groups also brought smiles to people of all ages as the parade moved through town. After the parade, Santa Claus made a reappearance at Roberts Park with free gifts for children along with face painting and a sausage sizzle. The free event provided business owners an opportunity to thank the community for their support. A 70-year-old endurance athlete set himself a challenge to cycle the height of Mount Everest. But rather than travelling to Kathmandu, he found a steep hill near Hawea to cycle up over 100 times to replicate the same gain in altitude. Steve Moffat rides to the summit for yet another time. The endurance athlete set himself to cycle the height of Mount Everest, which is nearly 9 kilometres, by riding up the steep hill at Lake Hauia Lookout with family members as support crew. The first half was good and uh, he had perfect tailwind behind him. And um, yeah, he's been happy and strong, but yeah, his stomach's giving him a bit of grief now. So he's just trying to get the right nutrition and uh, working on that side of things at the moment. Cycling to the equivalent of the top of Mount Everest was going to take Moffat most of the day and covered about 250 kilometres. I used to ride along here and, and ride up the hill once and think, man, this is odd. I don't want to do this again. <laughs> And now I'm going to ride it 112 times. He's hoping to raise $100,000 through sponsorship, which will go to the Christchurch City Mission, plus the aspiring Youth Development Trust. Our trust that uh, working with these kids from the east side um, and putting them through the coast to coast. And it's, it is about the coast to coast, but it's also about giving them an opportunity to see the outdoors and see there's another way of doing things. And his family have seen him face endurance challenges such as this for many decades. He's done 50 years of sport, um, but in the last, so since he was 30, predominantly road cycling, multi sport, and adventure racing. So, a few coast to coast, and he's got a few titles to his name. So, he's used to hurting and he's used to, you know, putting himself a bit through the paces. So, I mean, he's not sitting around, he's not at the pub, and he's a good boy. So, you just support him. Behind every good man there's a good woman, I say. In the end, Moffat achieved the height of Mount Everest in world record time for a 70-year-old.
taking just under 15 hours. In Hawea, the South today. 30 children living with illnesses were treated to a flight over the scenery of Southland in Otago at the weekend. The trip substituted for an overseas excursion due to borders being closed this year. This year's Koru Club Southland trip wasn't to the Gold Coast or Disneyland due to COVID-19 closing the borders. Instead, 30 local children living with illnesses were treated to a one-hour scenic flight over the mountains, valleys and lakes of central Otago. We took them today on a wonderful flight around Queenstown and Tiaanau and it was just a great experience for the families. A lot who had never been on an aeroplane before, it was such a joy. And for children who would never be able to cope with going overseas or going overnight for a few nights on holiday to Gold Coast and Disneyland, which is where we used to be. The day out allowed the youngsters to bond, through all of them living with compromised health, making it a very special experience for all involved. It's so important for the children just to give them self-esteem, confidence and experience that they would never have. A lot of them were in wheelchairs, a lot of them their health compromised of their everyday living. So for this, it was to take them on an experience. And it was for an hour, but we met for a couple of hours beforehand and just for them to see other children with similar illnesses um, and to share that moment with each other was wonderful. As well as the hour-long flight, there was also a Disney-themed party for the children to enjoy. We had face painting done, as you can see. We had um, wonderful food donated by a number of organisations throughout the cargo to support us. And we had a musician, a lot of this was voluntary done, so that we were able to have um, a fun activity, not just for the children on the flight and the, and the caregiver or the parent, but for the rest of the family as well. So it was a, a wonderful experience. and something we've just looked forward to for many years, so mission accomplished today. And in Vicargal, the South today. After the break on the South today, Dunedin's Salvation Army is concerned about a lack of housing, and we look at your early week's weather. Hea koko akine. PVC windows and doors. PVC is 9% more efficient than standard aluminium and 60% more efficient than thermally broken aluminium. It's multi-chambered, you don't get any condensation through the frame. And if you put decent glass in, you get a big, big difference to aluminium. Step into Shop on Carroll and discover a shop full of treasures. We have a fantastic range of vintage and retro clothes, upmarket clothing labels, collectible items, beautiful jewellery, quality linen and the best range of vintage haberdashery. risk of developing melanoma skin cancer, you owe it to yourself to have a mole map. Mole map is coming to your area. Phone today to make an appointment. It could save your life. A poorly maintained heat pump can lose up to 35% of its output. The Mr. Heat Pump Cleaner team are experts. Their specially developed chemical wash is totally biodegradable. Call Mr. Heat Pump Cleaner and get the job done by the professionals. George Street, corner of Hanover and George. Come and see what I get in here. This is where I go shopping. 
So look what I can choose from in here. It's fantastic. Knitwear, flash shirt. Look at those flash shirts. Trousers, jeans, pullovers. Oh, look, they've got some hoodies. I love hoodies. Every reason, every season, we're proud to dress the region. Alex Campbell menswear, it fits. But my friend Lindsay, he says, this store's only here till January the 10th, so I better dash. See you later. Ah, TV, our favourite babysitter. But it can be tough keeping up with what our tamariki are watching. Uh, luckily, the Broadcasting Standards Authority has made some smart changes to the classification labels. Ooh! Plus changes to the time of day certain rated shows will air and awesome new parental lock features, meaning your babysitter's job is safe. Find out more at safeviewing.co.nz Hey, what have you got? Okay. Chicks World, party time, excellent. <laughs> Love it! Chicks World! Chicks World! <laughs> now, my Noor, welcome back. Planned construction projects such as the new Dunedin Hospital could have a detrimental effect on the availability of housing in the city. That's according to the local Salvation Army. Dunedin Community Ministries manager David McKenzie says the lack of housing is already battering low-income earners in the south. He says the hospital rebuild will impact on the city's rental housing, which is quite poor and needs to be upgraded. McKenzie says Dunedin is definitely worse off this year than last year and more social housing needs to be built. The Salvation Army predicts rents and affordable house prices are likely to continue to outpace incomes and the social housing waiting list will continue to grow. And now recapping tonight's top stories on the South today. Many hardy athletes took on the Kepler Challenge at the weekend, with most completing the race wet and happy at the annual event. A number of towns held their Santa parades over the weekend, with sizeable crowds flocking to each event, all hoping to see the large man in red. And a brand new festival in Alexandra has attracted those seeking entertainment and wellness after two years of planning. And now for a look at what's happening in tomorrow's ODT, we have Hayden Meikle with us this evening. Go to Hayden. Good evening, Simon. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you doing? Good, good. Lots of good news today. Some great news, in fact, for theatre fans, mm -hmm. of which I know you are yourself, Simon. So am I. Uh, Les Miserables, of course, was going to play in Dunedin in yeah. March this year. It was going to be huge. And then COVID-19, lockdown came along and said, no, that won't be working. So next year, it's all go. Uh, but obviously, lots and lots of people were very worried they wouldn't get their ticket money back, mm -hmm. ticket Ticket Rocket, of course, going under in the interim. But Musical Theatre Dunedin today announcing they will be providing replacement tickets for all of those people who pre-ordered tickets. So great news for that. Sounds like it's going to be a, a fantastic show. I'm looking looking forward to it. And big news for, for aquatic fans. So Moana Pool is working on a big facelift, mm -hmm. uh, $16 million. So the pool's going to have spent on it. Uh, possibly a cafe. They're going to see if a cafe could work. And very exciting news, Simon, which I know you will be very excited about. Uh, wow. hyd hydra slides. New hydra slides are coming. We Great. don't know. We don't know a lot about them. How big they are. How fast they will be. But uh, we're so excited that maybe even I will uh, dust off the old swimming togs with my son. That could be fun. Uh, university graduation. It, so it begins. You know, it's that time of year when people are flocking back into needing to graduate, which is such a Exciting time of year to see these folks, mostly young of course, graduating. Yep. And we've talked to someone who is doing a 3,000 kilometre uh, holiday road trip to come back to Dunedin and graduate, so that's a lovely story. Lovely yarn on Alan Richards, the accountant who turns 100 tomorrow. And as per usual we ask him what the key to such a long life is. And I think he tells us uh, a glass of gin and a glass of wine each day apparently, Simon. So that's some good advice there. And in sport, uh, Steve Hepburn, our sports editor, has reviewed the rugby season, which, believe it or not, uh, just finally finished at the weekend. He's mm. looked back over the domestic rugby season, the, the good, the bad and the ugly of a, a rather unusual rugby season. He's For hoping sure. we won't have a repeat next year. So all that, plenty to read tomorrow. Great, Hayden. Thanks very much.
And time now for a look at tomorrow's weather. Tonight's weather proudly brought to you by Molmap. Beginning with the situation, a westerly airflow blows across the south tomorrow on Wednesday with some showers scattered about the island, but mostly fine weather elsewhere. Starting off at the northwest of the South Island, those showers visit Westport and Greymouth, both on 18 degrees. To the northeast, scattered showers too for Nelson on 22, just cloud for Blenheim on 25. And it's cloudy in Canterbury, 22 for Kaikoura, 24 degrees for both Christchurch and Ashburton. To the southern towns now, fresh westerlies and cloud greet Balclutha, Lumsden and Gore, all on 17 degrees. The Catlins is one higher on 18, but we'll have to put up with some brief showers and moderate westerlies. To the central lakes, the wind and showers reach Chiano on 16 degrees. Not the other towns though, which apart from some fresh westerlies are otherwise fine. Queenstown, Wanaka and Alexandra on 17, 18 and 20 degrees respectively. To the northern towns, it's hot on the coast. Some cloud for both Timaru experiences moderate northwesterlies in 27 degrees, variable winds in Oamaru on 23. And it's fine inland, both Twizel and Omarama experience fresh westerlies in 20 degrees. In Dunedin, fine tonight with an overnight low of 11. Sun tomorrow morning with mild northerlies may be interrupted by showers early afternoon as winds tend moderate to fresh southwesterly. Before coming fine again during the evening, a high of 21 and a low of 10. And it's fine with sun and cloud early Wednesday with moderate northeasterlies tilting southwesterly late in the day, a high of 18 and a low of 9 degrees. and to Invercargill. Fine tonight with an overnight low of 11. Mostly cloudy tomorrow with a few scattered showers at times and fresh westerly winds, a high of 17 and a low of 10. And cloud increasing and some rain developing on Wednesday with westerly winds becoming strong and gusty, a high of 16 and a low of 10 degrees. And that's the news this Monday. For the latest news from the southern region, head online to odt.co.nz or follow Channel 39 on Facebook and YouTube. Nō reira, kia pai te pō, ka kita anō. This bulletin proudly brought to you in association with Alex Campbell's menswear. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.